Right then, so this is second vid for the first lesson of the um, modulus. It's got stuff about combinations. This box it appears in quite a few packs as a reminder because the transformations and translations and stretches and reflections come up every so often all over the show. So if the numbers are outside the brackets, I do the three before the five. If the numbers are inside the brackets, I do the five before the three. There. So I'm changing the number in there, actually. I'll put it as a one and a two again. A one and a two. Because it'll confuse you if I put it together. <laughs> there. So you just got to remember that. So if it's on the outside, just kind of follow your, your big mass, bod mass, whatever you want to call it. So if it's for both, you do inside first before outside. Right, let's have a look then. So, right. So we've done these as well, like this, haven't we, with this graph? Let's start off with the modulus of x. So y equals the modulus of x. That's what I'm starting with. So that's my most basic model, modulus of x. At zero, there. I'm going to do, if I work on the bit on the inside first, I've got that translation to do. So I've got a translation of 1, 0. So that gives me the modulus of x minus 1. So that's going 1 to the right. So, so that's going to be a 1. If I put y is 0 in for x minus 1, you're going to get a 1 out there. That's OK. Then the next one, so I'm going to do the 3 next. So I'm going to have three lots of the modulus of x minus 1. So that's going to be my stretch. Uh, scale factor 3 parallel to the oop, to the y axis. So that changes the 1, doesn't it? So the so the one on the x-axis stays the same, but the intersect here now becomes a 3. And then the last one I've got is a minus 2. So it's 3 modulus x minus 1 minus 2. And that's just a translation 0 minus 2. So everything goes down by 2. Right, so... So that coordinate now is 1, minus 2. That crosses at 1 there. I can solve it to find where it crosses the x-axis, because your graph will do that for you, uh, for setting y equals 0. It's all a bit faffy. Right, so there's one for you. So you can you have a go at that one. So remember, just pause the bid and have a go, see what you get out. Alright. We have another one on the other side. So this is one where you've got a random letter that you don't know. So it starts off moving with the modulus of x. So I know that goes there, zero. And then I'm gonna do the the minus. So that's a reflection in the x-axis. So I'm multiplying all the y values by minus 1. So that flips it upside down. It's still at 0. And then I'm going to move it up. So this, so, so this is just a translation going up. It's been put first, but it could be at the end, couldn't it? So that's going to be a translation. Zero A. So it goes up to A. There we go. We could try and solve this equal to zero. Uh, what would you have? It would just be plus or minus A, wouldn't it? There. If you set Y to zero. Um, have we got this one? We'll do both. Oh, 
We'll do about how to solve modulus soon. There. There you go. I think then there's some questions which we'll do in class. So that's ideal. Right, see you later.